Hi, welcome to the Me and My Bass series. In the series, I will bore you with some interesting facts about some of the basses or bass related or audio related stuff I own. I will tell you how I did position them and why. Further, I will tell you my humble opinion about the playability and the sound. This sums up three riffs and two chord basses. The bases I'm talking about are the Chord Slammer from 1982 and the Chord Funk Machine 2 from 2001. The idea behind all this is of course to figure out if there is a similarity in sound when playing these bases. Also is there a difference in uh, playability and build quality? Well let's go over them. Uh, the Chord Slammer, this one is made in Japan, this base has a 20 fret neck uh, made of rosewood. It has P-style bass pickups and die-cast metal tuners. It's in fact a short-scale bass. Uh, further, it was my very first bass I bought in 1986. The Chord Funk Machine is a very different beast. It's made in Korea. It's a TM Stevens signature model. Basswood body, bold on maple neck, rosewood fingerboard. Um, original design, 24 fret die-cast tuners. EB12 Fortress Bridge. Chrome hardware, body colors, black active preamp, two Bartolini pickups, uh, three band Bartolini EQ, one volume, one blend, one slap switch, one funk wah switch on this bass, right. Further, it's of course a normal long scale bass. Build quality wise, it's clear that this slammer bass, although made in Japan, is absolutely more flimsy than this in Korea produced funk machine. It just all feels a little Cheapy. Cheap. But my guess is that this funk machine was, when bought new, uh, at least twice the price of this one. Play wise, they both play very well, although the slimmer, because of the flimsiness, almost feels like it could break at, under my hands at any minute, while the funk machine is a unbreakable tank. I tried to produce three different sounding riffs just to hear how much they would differ from each other. And I promised um, not to use, although it's tempting, the wah or slap circuit in the funk machine. So let's check them out sound wise.
the signal flow in these clips uh, was as usual the base direct into my UED Apollo Twin, which had an MPEG SVT simulation running on it. I used the Rock A preset. Well, there you have it. Feel free to comment if you feel that one sounded better than the other uh, or looked better than the other. Well, that's it for this episode. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>